All right. So, how are you today, Viet? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. So, may I ask, what did you do in school today? Did you have fun with your teachers and classmates? Um, um I learned... Um, did you learn? I learned um, English, Math, Vietnamese, English, and Art. Arts, that's interesting. Okay, so thank you for sharing that, Viet. Okay, now. So, um, for a while, I'll just prepare your book in a minute. Okay, um, let me just share my screen. Okay, so the last time that we stopped in only reading this context right you still remember we only read the context and we didn't read yet the affirmative side the affirmative side and the opposing side okay now so before we um um, read the affirmative side. Let's uh, go back first with the context, which means the uh, which tackles about the debate prompt number twenty four, which is the if you see someone cheating on a test, should you tell? Okay, so you know, cheating is wrong, and you'd never consider doing it. But what would you do if you caught someone else cheating? It would be a pretty easy question if someone stole your homework. Okay, for you, Viet, would you get mad if your homework be stolen from your classmate? Um, I'd be very mad. Yes, you'd be very mad. So you'd probably tell your teacher, right? So, and yeah. if someone was selling answers to a test, you'd probably report it too. But what if you caught a classmate taking a look at your answer sheet during a test? Then what? You don't want to betray a classmate. Who, would, who could get into a lot of trouble? So, you also don't want to be known as a rat. But you studied hard for this test. Why should this kid benefit from your hard work? Is it right, Beth, that why should your classmate benefit from your own hard work? Is it right? Is the context saying right? Is it a yes or a no? Yes. yes. Plus, if you don't tell, you might get in trouble. So if your teacher found out, he might think you were in on it. So how would you handle it if you saw a classmate cheating? Would you tell your teacher? Would you tell your teacher? Um, um, I will tell. Would tell okay so here let's go to the affirmative side okay please read turn the cheater in okay please read the yeah. the affirmative side start mm -hmm the cheater in cheating is totally unfair why should some kids work hard just 
so other kids can steal the answer. There should be no free rides. If these students got good grades, they should earn them, just like everyone else. Besides, cheaters need to be stopped their own good. It may seem like nothing now, but even surely, any cheaters will wish they learned more in school. Yeah. So it says here that turn the cheater in. Cheating is totally unfair and it is right. So why should some kids work hard so other kids can steal their answers? There should be no free rides. If students want good grades, they should earn them, just like everyone else. Besides, cheaters need to be stopped from their own good. It may be seen like nothing now, but eventually, cheaters will wish they learn more in school. Okay, do you ever experience cheating in your classroom yet? Your classmates? I don't. No, you don't. Or maybe you just don't saw it, right? So, yes. So, um, cheaters need to stop for their own good. They should also learn. Maybe they've got good grades than you, that you work for it, right? So let's hear I, from the opposing side. Okay, please read. Don't be a rat. Star. Don't be a rat. Cheating is not right, but kids should learn to solve their own problems rather than always running to a teacher. It's much better to talk to a classmate yourself. If you catch someone looking at a word doing a test, if the person knows you notice and want it to stop, if it doesn't, then think about telling your teacher. But until then, you should handle the problem on your own rather than being a tattled tail. Okay. Can you say the word problems? Problem. Running. Running. Tattletail. Tattletail. And noticed. Noticed. Okay, very good. Thank you. So don't be a rat. Cheating is not right. But kids should learn to solve their own problems rather than always running to a teacher. It's much better to take to talk, sorry, to your classmate yourself. If you catch someone looking at your work during a test, let the person know you noticed and want it to stop. If it doesn't, then think about telling the teacher. But until then, you should handle the problem on your own rather than being a tattle tale. So Instead of, it says here that instead of asking for a teacher, you should ask your classmates. Is it right that your classmates know more than your teachers? No. No. So, if uh, you catch someone that is looking at your paper uh, in every test, you should let the person know that you notice him or her and tell him or her to stop. Okay? But if then, like if he or she got caught, he or she should face his own problem. Because... He did that one, and he wants that one. Okay, so it's your turn. Write one reason why you should tell the teacher about a cheater. Write one reason why you might not. Okay, just chat it here in our chat box yet. Okay, 
I will repeat it. You write one reason why you should tell a teacher about a cheater. Why should you tell your teacher about uh, about that cheater? And the second reason is why you might not tell the teacher about a cheater okay um, no point yet or do i need to re uh, to explain it more um, no okay just write it here in our chat box yet um saw my chat here in our chat box again yes okay take your time Eating is copying your answers and you don't need to think. Okay, do you mean that you will, I mean, sorry, I mean you will tell your teacher why your classmate cheat because he or she is copying your answers. That's one that you want to met. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about the second one? One reason why you should not tell the teacher why she or he cheated. You don't want to known as a rat. What do you mean, Bien? What do you mean by you don't want to known as a rat or you don't want to be known as a rat? <coughs> Why do you say so? <coughs> okay. Why do you uh why do you say that you don't want to be known as a rat? Because uh that's why you you will not tell your teacher that 
he or she is cheating. <laughs> what is the reason? Um, okay, all answers are correct yet. It's okay. Why? Because? Because what yet? Because you want um, that your, your classmates will still be good to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good answer. So, uh, thank you for that, Viet. I have also one question for this debate. Okay. All you need to do in this question, Beth, is to write two to three sentences. Okay? So the question is, what will you do if you call your best friend? It's your best friend. Cheating. Okay, for a while. one what will you do if you caught your best friend cheating and the reason why he cheated because he didn't study at night because he helped his mom selling in a restaurant what will you do you need to answer at least two to three sentences Your time starts now.
I won't tell the teacher because he don't have time to learn. He hasn't learned anything, so he can't remember anything. Very good. Thank you for that answer, Viet. So you're a good um friend. But somehow, he also needs to learn since he is in school right but yeah your answers are correct so i won't tell the teacher because he don't have time to learn that's correct that's good because as what i said here that he helped his mom selling in a restaurant so he hasn't time to study he hasn't learned anything, so he can't remember anything. Very good. Yeah. So enough for that, Viet. Let's continue to the debate from 25. Are teen curfews a good thing? What do you think? Do you know what curfews means, Viet? curfew mm. it is like a time given by the government that uh teens should not uh should not be allowed to go outside on that time given for example the government says that at nine Let's just say at 10 p.m., all kids, teenagers, adults, or let's just say, uh, let's just say, let's um, stay with teens, should not be allowed to go outside beyond 10 p.m. Okay, so are teen curfews good? A good thing. Curfews a good thing? What do you think? Okay, what do you think, Viet? Is it a good thing? Um, I mean, it's a good thing. Okay, so why is it a good thing that teens should have curfews? <laughs> why is it a good thing? Um... Because if they they stay because yes, if they stay, so they always play but they are already teens. So it means they're 18 and above, 18 years old and above. So are curfews still a good thing for them? What do you think, Viet? Um, 
Um, can you say it again? Okay. So teens means that they are already ah. 18 years old and above. So is it still good for them to put curfews? Is it good for them? Mm, I, mm, mm. Ah, again? And I, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. So it isn't good uh -huh. for them to put curfews since they're already 18 and adult, right? So, okay, um, it's also a good answer. So please read this one so that we will know if it is good for them or it is not. Please read. Some people. Some people say that kids should be home at a certain time. Other people say curfews violate kids' rights. What do you think? Okay. Some people say that kids should be home at a certain time. Other people say curfews violate kids' rights. So what do you think? Okay, please read the con context. You're at the friend's house. Okay, you are at the friend's Friend's house. Okay, Viet, please start reading. You're at the friend's at house. At a friend's house, practicing for a school play. You have a lot of lines to learn in the plays in a few days. But you're a hard worker, and you're a good actor, and your friend is willing to stay up like working with you that's just one problem your town has a curfew you have to go home early all across america towns are instituting curfews for kids other countries 200 largest cities 146 already have curfews many of the exist report dropped in the crime rate as a result this city also say that with curfews in place, fewer kids are victims of crimes. But some people want to end this curfews. They say that there are a violation of kids' rights, especially since some kids have to stay out late because of school activities and jobs. What do you think? Are curfews a good idea? Okay, so you're at the friend's house practicing for the school play. Do you ever experience that one already yet? That you you went to a friend's house for a practice? Do you experience that one already? No, I didn't. Okay. So you have a lot of lines to learn and the play is in a few days. But you're a hard worker and you're a good actor. And your friend is willing to stay up late working with you. There's just one problem. Your town has a curfew. You have got to go home early. All across America, towns are instituting curfews for kids. Of the country's 200 largest cities, 146 already have curfews. So many of the cities report drops in their crime rate as a result. So these cities also say that these curfews in place or fewer kids are victims of crime. But some people want to end these curfews. They say they are violation of kids' rights, especially some kids have to stay out late because of school activities and jobs. So what do you think? Are curfews a good idea? Because some say that 
this is good because there ha there is a violation of kids right especially for those who are uh for those who have school activities and jobs and some says that um there are already 146 curfews in america and some city crimes are dropping so what do you think curfews a good idea or not for you yet in your own age or um yes um would you consider that their uh, your community will be having a curfew or not I think do you not. agree with that again you think what Do you agree with that? That your community will be having a curfew? Um, no, I don't. No, you don't? Why? It is for your own good. It is for your own safety that your community will be indicating curfews. Why, do you, uh, why did you say not? Yes, I guess. Um, um, why do you say not? Since it's for your own good and it's for your own safety. So why do you say you will not consider curfew in your community? Um, because... Because? because kids and adults are saying thank you oh kids and adults are same hmm yes also correct again sorry yeah i can't hear you again what did you say uh um, kids and adults are bad, are, are the same. They're the same okay, yes, you're correct. So, we're just the same, but kids are not the same with adults yet. Adults have, um, their own minds already they know what is right and wrong but the kids need their guardians to guide them so curfews are for all i didn't say that it's only for kids but it is for all since it is for our safety and for the community to be peaceful. Am I correct, Beth? Um, that curfews should be made so that the community will be peaceful. Right? Okay. <coughs> so, but we don't have enough time left, Beth. Okay, we'll just continue this, um, answering this um, affirmative side and the opposing side on our next meeting. All right? Okay. Okay. So, it's time for teacher to say goodbye. And thank you so much for tonight, Viet. We'll see you again on our next meeting. Thank you, Viet. 
Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much.